Hey, folks, it's time to get into a little bit of insurance talk. Let's get to Richard Tonica, his website, richardtagency.com, richardtagency.com. Um, by the way, uh, home auto toys and otherwise, and uh, get you the best rates, the best policies. Uh, can shop over 20, 25 companies behind the scenes. These are companies you cannot get to. And trust me, folks, if you're just sitting with one of the big box, you know, trust me. We can put them to shame. Absolutely. And if you're if you've got your home with one company uh and your auto with a different company, you may or may not have the auto home discount with well, I know you don't have the auto home discount with other companies, but with my agency, we can still do that even though your home and your auto are with different carriers. It doesn't matter. As long as you have your home and auto with my agency, then we can give you the companion discount and uh, make sure that you you're getting the best rates, uh, the best policies at the best rates. Yeah. But today we want to uh, we kind of touched on it last week when we were talking about the anatomy of a home home insurance policy. Uh, when we talked about um, the umbrella policies mm-hmm. and talking to my wife over the week, uh, we were looking at everything and she was saying umbrella policies are only for the rich. And I was like, well, no, nah, not really. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> As more and more people are, I, I know this is old, but Facebook, Twitter, all this stuff, there are certain coverages that you have with an umbrella policy that you simply don't have with your homeowner's policy. Your homeowner's policy does follow you everywhere, and it protects you from physical harm. But more and more times, if you have any kind of lawsuit or something coming up against you, it's the personal injury, the slander, the libel, um, defamation of character all that stuff so if you're on twitter facebook any kind of social media and you hurt someone's feelings your homeowner's insurance isn't going to cover you for that your umbrella policy will cover you for that and it also helps pay for your legal fees and everything else but depending on how much you have but one of the things that we that we talk about is do you have kids if you have kids do you have a pool anyone that has a pool you almost have to have an umbrella policy because of the simple fact that you you're going to do everything that you can to make sure that no one gets into your pool and something happens. But if you have kids and you're having a pool party and one of the kids gets in there and something bad happens, there's, there's, there's no easy way around it is you're really protecting yourself Mm -hmm. and you're not trying to do anything bad for uh, the other person's loss or anything else, but you just want to make sure that your assets are covered right. and the umbrella policy helps cover you for that. Because on a typical home you're looking at, most people have 300, maybe $500,000 in liability and that'll protect you for some odd, for some amount. But most of the judgments that are carried out against people are in excess of 500,000. So you have kids, you ha- you're having pool parties or you don't even have to have a pool party, have friends over. Yeah. Just friends over neighbors over whatever. And you don't even know about it. And the kids are out there swimming and something happens. I mean, I'm not saying that you're a bad parent or anything else. It's just things, things happen. happen. Yeah. And especially during summer months when kids are out, kids are left to their own devices sometimes mm-hmm. you never know what's going to happen and this is just a way of protecting you for that and so what you know what would let's just let's just ballpark a, a price for if you had a pool and you wanted to make sure that was covered you're looking at it's a small at, amount at, isn't at, it? yeah you're looking at tops 250 300 tops for the year yeah. for the year and so giving yourself that kind of protection shouldn't it should be a no-brainer right and then also i mean a, a, an umbrella protects everything that you have. So if you have your home and your auto, let's say you're driving out. We've all heard uh, the horror stories of somebody hitting head on and killing an entire family. Now, if you have the state minimums on your auto insurance, 30, 60, well, 30,000 per person, 60,000 per accident and $25,000 per property damage, then you go in, you kill this entire family not only are you going to have to live with that if you if you survive the wreck, now you're also going to be living the rest of your life in debt, making sure that you pay for everything because of their loss. With when when you're looking at an umbrella on the auto side, you have to have two two hundred fifty thousand, two fifty five hundred, so two hundred fifty thousand dollars per person, five hundred thousand dollars per accident. And the property damage, you can always change the property damage to be whatever you want it to be. 
I typically, we're, we look at your assets. How much, if you had to liquidate everything, are you looking at? How much do you have to protect? Because that really determines how much or what your coverage levels are. So, but normally with someone that goes to 5,500, we're looking at $100,000 in property damage. There's not a whole lot of cars that you can't replace with $100,000. Hmm. Uh, but, and you can go lower 100, 300, but the amount for your umbrella increases. You don't get a surcharge at one uh, at two fifty five hundred, but if you have one hundred three hundred, you do have a surcharge on your umbrella where that's more expensive. And remember, an umbrella covers you for everything that is covered underneath. So if you don't have a collision or comprehensive or something underneath the what's called the sub policies, everything that is underneath the umbrella, the umbrella doesn't give you extra coverage. It has it gives you coverage in addition to what you have on your homeowners and your auto insurance but it isn't going to give you more coverage of something that you don't have right does that make sense right <clears throat> okay so let's take that example where the the person uh hits and kills a family they're going to have not only are they, are they going to have enough to actually because a typical umbrella is one million dollars a typical and you can go up to two to five million depending on what your assets are and but there may be more things that that or documentation that's needed to go up to the higher limits but a typical umbrella is one million dollars a typical judgment is about 890 to nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. so on a typical Typical judgment, you're looking at, you had $250,000 for your auto insurance. That $950,000, there's $700,000 there's 700, that's missing. Normally, if you don't have an umbrella, that's coming out of your pocket. So that's why I'm saying that at the end of the day, not only are you going to have to live with what you've done, now you're going to have to pay $700,000 over the life of your, over the, over your life to make restitution for the financial losses that or the judgment that's been levied against you. Right. And that's where the umbrella really pick kicks in is making sure that a bad day doesn't turn into a bad life where you're, I mean, cause like yeah, I said, it, well, it can be very easy too. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, your fault, you know, because there are instances where you get into accidents, particularly vehicular accidents that can, not necessarily be determined, you know, whose fault it is. But that doesn't stop you from being sued. Exactly. And so it may not have been your fault. It may have been the other's fault, but maybe they're more litigious than you and they're, they're coming after you. Folks, there's a lot of uh, new license plates around the state, if you haven't noticed that. And a heck of a lot of them uh, are from California. And I'm going to single out California for a minute. Reason being is because they're the most litigious state in the nation. And, um, uh, and this even goes to if if you have kids at all, especially if you have a pool, if you have kids at all and you have kids over, other kids over at all, honestly, you should have an umbrella policy because, you know, guess what? That new mom that just moved in the neighborhood out there in Frisco, you know, she's so cool. She's so cutting edge, you know. She's from California. They just moved in. You Until know, her kid gets hurt. From Encino. Exactly. Guess what? Her kid gets hurt. Yeah, you're sued. Why? Because she's from California. Why? Because they're the most litigious state in the nation. Also and, the land of nuts and fruits. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Love California. But, you know, you guys are nuts. You sue everybody <laughs> over everything. And so, and you're moving in here. And us good folks here in Texas who don't really sue people, you know, we just deal with things, you know, like we're supposed to, you know. Throw some dirt on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's no problem. Don't worry about it. You know, just move on down the line. Ah, it's just a fender bender. You know, those days are, you know, we'd like to think they're still here, but folks, those days are long gone. Absolutely. You, you know, unfortunately, you can't trust your, your friends and neighbors on the roads and, and the highway. So you need to, ha honestly, an umbrella policy is one of the, probably the most important things that people forget and they don't think about, don't even know about. And that's the reason I'd say, I mean, you've got to look at your assets. What are you trying to protect? And let's say you've got a million and a half or you've got over a, over 500 or a million dollars. Look at an umbrella policy. It's the easiest way to protect your assets if something catastrophic happens. 
And yes, I am talking worst case scenario, but that's what insurance is all about is right. making sure that you're covered. If something bad happens to where that you still get to keep all your stuff and you, 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 you keep the life that you've worked so hard to build. Yeah. Well, and you know, folks, we're driving down the highways every day, you know, commuting to and from work, you know, does a day go by where you don't see multiple accidents, where you don't see multiple vehicles all smashed up on the side of the road? There's not a day that goes by that you do not see that on the side of the road, side of the highway, you know, so those things happen, you know, and not all the time can it be clear as to who was at fault. Even if you weren't at fault, you can still get sued, you know, just think about that. And then think about having friends over at your house, your, your the parents with the kids, et cetera. These are a gazillion reasons why you need to give uh, Richard a call over at uh, Richard Tonica's Goosehead Insurance Agency. By the way, his website, richardtagency.com, richardtagency.com. Go to the website, check out his info, give him a call, and he will set up a personal consult with you over the phone and get you all squared away. Be sure you're protected. Folks, we're going to take a short break. See you on the other side. 